Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel. And if you are new here, my name's Heidi. So you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to Disney World and I'm so, so excited. So we kind of mentioned it on our channel before that I'd be going out to see Brandon at Disney World. If you're new, Brandon is my fiance. He's currently working at Disney doing the Canadian version of the Disney College program. End of his program lined up with my break in school, so I'm so excited to be going. The main thing that I'll be doing in this video is packing up my things to go to Disney, but I also just wanted to take a little time to talk about the trip because I haven't actually talked about specific details. So this video should be going up on Monday, August 14th, and that's the day that I'll actually be flying out to Disney World. So if everything lines up properly, I should be almost at Disney World as this video gets released, which is so exciting. My trip is going to be 10 days, so I'll be there until August 24th. And this trip is really, really special because we're going to be celebrating a lot of different things on this trip. And it's also going to be my reunion with Brandon because I haven't seen him for three months since he's been on the program. And we just have a lot of new exciting things that we'll be doing at the parks and with some special people, so I really can't wait. So some of the exciting things that we'll be celebrating on this trip are my birthday. So I'm actually gonna be at Disney World for my birthday, which I feel like is so exciting. I literally cannot wait. I feel like that's like, it'll be so fun. It'll be so fun to spend it with friends and at Disney World, so I just can't wait for that. Also going to go to our first Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, and I can't wait to do that. I think it's gonna be so fun. Brandon and I love the parties. Can't wait to meet all the different characters and see the show and the parade. Literally, it's gonna be so cool. Super, super exciting and big highlight of this trip is that we're actually going with our best friends, Caitlin and Austin. Caitlin from Magically Caitlin. Um, and yeah, we kind of hinted towards it. And if you watch Caitlin's videos, you know that we're going with them. We're gonna be sharing a hotel room with them and just having the best time. So I'm so excited to do that because we've talked about this trip for so long and it's always been thing in the back of our mind that we're like, one day we hope we can do that. But the fact that it's actually happening is so exciting. There's also gonna be so many new friends that I'll get to meet because Brandon has met so many amazing people on his program, so I can't wait to meet everyone. Then of course, this trip is also extra special because I've been in PA school and I finished up my first year. And this is my two weeks off for summer, so it feels surreal to be done first year and it's gonna be such a nice break because we don't get breaks often. And then when I come back, I'll be going into clerkship. So it's really the last time that I can kind of relax and decompress after a busy year. So I'm really proud of that and really excited to celebrate that as well. Also excited to go see the Food and Wine Festival because I've never been to that. And then of course I'm excited to do all of the usual things that we love doing. I'm especially excited to ride Flight of Passage. I want to ride it a lot this trip because I love that ride. So I can't wait. Also Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I want to ride that every day if I can. I love that ride so much. We're also going to be celebrating our anniversary because we were away from each other, Brandon and I, for anniversary. So we're going to go somewhere special for dinner. We haven't decided yet where, but that'll be cool as well. And truthfully, I'm just excited to be there and just relax and take in the parks. It's going to be so fun. The weather's going to be sunny and hot, which I love. So I'm just excited to be there and just get away from everything at home and just be at the parks and just enjoy myself. And then it'll be extra special because on the way home, Brandon will get to come home with me. Uh, we ended up picking the same flight. He ended up buying the flight that I did. So we'll be get to come home together and that will be a nice end to the trip. Though I know he must be sad to finish up his trip. Excited to have him back at home so that'll be nice as well so that's just a few of the things that i'm looking forward to again i'm really excited for this trip so let's get packing i never really know how to do pack with me videos but i think this is a pretty good setup i have luggage up here everything that i'm packing is kind of spread around this is not going to be finalized because i still have a few more days before i'm leaving but it's going to have the majority of the things that i'm bringing so let's start off with clothes so we'll start off with all the shirts that i'm bringing to disney not the biggest planner, I will say, with regards to what outfits I'm going to wear. I sort of just bring things that I feel like I would like to wear. And I'm very much like on the day of, I just want to feel confident and comfortable in what I'm wearing. So I just bring things that I think I will like to wear. And then on the day of, kind of decide. With regards to shirts, I think I'm going to wear this shirt uh, on my travel day. Because, of course, I'm going to Disney, so I want to wear something Disney. Um, It's like a vintage Mickey's Not So Scary. Well, I don't know if it's vintage what year. 2012 so not vintage it's just an older shirt from mickey's not so scary um 
And the reason I'm not gonna wear this to the party is because Magical Castle Company, Brandon is currently a brand rep for them. They sent us some Halloween shirts to wear, which we love, Magical Castle Company. Um, you can use the code SUNNY10 for 10% off of your order on their website. So I'll leave link down below. Yeah, pretty much a lot of our clothes are from them and they sent us Halloween shirts, which is so, so nice. So they're currently at Disney with Brandon. So I'm so excited to support those, which is why I'm not wearing this. I have it, so I think I'm gonna wear it on the flight there, but I haven't decided yet. Also, I know Florida is gonna be hot, but I wanted to bring a spirit jersey just in case. So I'm doing it. This is my like only like generic spirit jersey. It's like the pink rose gold um, one. So yeah, I'm gonna bring that in case for some reason I get cold at night. Again, I know I probably won't wear it, but just in case. I'll go through the other Magical Castle company shirts that I am bringing. So again, if you're interested in any of these, definitely check out their website. There's that one, it says, we're pollinators. Then I have this one, which is a Tower of Terror one. I have to fold all this again. <laughs> I have this one that says Silencio Bruno, which I haven't got to wear at the parts yet. So I'm really excited for that one. We have this one, which says Jumbo and Brandon actually got um, the same one so we can match, which is cute. A few other uh, Disney shirts that I'm going to be bringing. So I'm going to have this one, which I'm really excited about. Brandon got me this one. If you watched our haul, you would know. It's from the parks and it says Mickey Mouse and I love the color of it. So I'm really excited to wear that one. Also really excited to wear this shirt. It's a vintage uh, Magic Kingdom shirt and it's got so many characters on it. I love it so much. So again, I'm really, really excited to wear this one at the parks. It's even got more characters on the back. I'm going to uh, make a Wanda outfit, which I'm really excited about because I have the ears you'll see in a minute. Um, so I'm bringing this shirt, it's from Wild Arrow Threads. So yeah, I'm bringing this shirt. I'm so excited to have a wand outfit. I know it doesn't really fit at Walt Disney World, but I just wanna wear it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we also have this last Disney shirt that we'll be bringing. It's got a bunch of the characters on it. Brandon also got me this one. I'm gonna wear it like button down with um, some kind of tank underneath it, I think, but we'll figure it out once we're there. <laughs> Okay, so I folded everything in here, all the shirts again, and now we're gonna move on to non-Disney shirts. Florida is going to be hot. I'm bringing some tank tops in case I just wanna wear tanks and match them with some like more fancy ears, I guess. Actually not bringing too many tank tops. I'm not really like a tank top person. Really I'm more of like a t-shirt sort of person, so I don't actually own too many, but these ones I like, so I'm bringing them. Two of the same ones from Aerie. There's like this orangey one and the exact same one in a green. So I'll bring those. Also a little classic Lululemon shirt. I really like these, but on me, they don't always look the best because I have like, I'm really tall and have a really uh, long torso. So I can only wear these with like very specific high-waisted clothes, but I have a pair of shorts that I like wearing them with. So I'm bringing it. Before we get into the shorts that I'm bringing, I'm also bringing some one-piece suits. I forget what they're called. Bumpers. I don't know. Honestly, I don't remember. But when you see them, you'll know what I'm talking about. This one, that's from like Aritzia. It's the classic Aritzia one. I don't know like the length of the shorts. Five, five inch maybe. The length of the bottoms. But anyways, doesn't matter. This is what it looks like. I'm really excited to wear this. My only worry is that it's black. And I feel like in the sun, that's going to be hot. But we'll see. I don't know. We might have to look cute one day and pull that out. And if we're warm, we'll just deal with it. In the same sort of piece, but this one is from Airy and it's like a green athletic material. This one is cooler, but I don't love like the bottom, how they fit as much. But again, I think it'll be cute for the parks. So I'm bringing it in case one day I decide that I want to wear it. We're moving on to the shorts that I'm bringing. So I'm bringing three pairs of biker shorts. I really, really like the one pair. I don't love the other two pairs, but again, I'll be wearing long t-shirts probably, so it'll be fine. This is the pair that I like. They are from Garage, I believe. Yeah, I just find that they fit like better. The other ones I have are a little bit big, so that's why I don't like them as much. But again, that's what we have, so that's what we're bringing. Um, these are the other two pairs. Well, these ones I think are from Old Navy. But yeah. Three pairs of those. We have some other athletic shorts. These ones are from TNA. They're like a splashy material. 
I really like them, but I do find that they're kind of like bigger on me. And then when I wear a long shirt, sometimes looks like I'm just wearing clothes that are too big for me. So I don't love that, but again, we'll see. Sometimes on the day of, I change my mind and I like how it looks, so might wear those. I have my favorite pair of jean shorts. I love these shorts so much. I thrifted them. They are starting to definitely have some wear on them, you can see, but I love them. They are just classic, so I'm bringing those. Also bringing this long pair of jean shorts, a longer. They don't look long as I'm holding them up. I think I'll be sweating in these, but again, it'll be like a day of moment. If I feel like really sweating that day, might wear them. So have just some Adidas athletic shorts. I wore these a lot last year because again, they're cool. Like they keep you cool, so that's great. Then I have two sweat shorts. So these are the ones that I was saying that would fit good with my Lululemon little top. These are from Primark. They have like all the Mickey characters on the bottom, which I like. So definitely gonna wear those one day. And then these shorts, which are actually pajama shorts. And I don't know if I'm gonna wear them. I don't know how I feel about them, but I'm bringing them just in case. Uh, they've got Tigger and Pooh embroidered on the bottom. So maybe I'll wear them, maybe not. A few more little clothing sort of items that I'll just quickly show. Got underwear and bras, and I'm not bringing any socks because I don't think I'm bringing running shoes which I don't know if that's gonna be the move, but I don't like feeling hot on my feet. That's like the biggest problem that I have when it's like really hot is that my feet get really hot. So I think I'm just gonna wear sandals the whole time. I'm still debating on bringing running shoes, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm also bringing some sport bras. I don't actually know if I'm gonna wear them, which is annoying because I like wearing sport bras at the park, but I find that when I wear sports bras, you can see them underneath my shirt and I don't love that. So, yeah, I'm still bringing them because they're more comfortable than regular bras, but I don't know if I'm gonna wear them. I'm also bringing two pairs of bathing suits, of course, because one of the days we're definitely going to a water park, um, Typhoon Lagoon, so I can't wait for that because I am a water park early through and through. I love the water park. I love the water. That's why summer is my favorite. Like, I'm so excited. So I brought some bathing suits. I kind of mixed and matched those two pieces. And then I also got this bathing suit a little while ago. So two of those. And then bringing my pajama stuff. I have to show these pajamas because they're so cute. It's like a nightgown, which I love wearing. Um, it's the Aristocats. Look at Marie on there. And then all of them on the back. So cute. So I'm bringing that. I was bringing some different shorts. These ones. And then my, I call my llama mask because I used to have a sleep mask. That was a llama that I wore for many years. Um, I can't sleep without this, so this I need to bring. If not, it's gonna be a problem. I'm actually very nervous for my sleeping habits because I have really good sleep hygiene at home. I can always fall asleep in pretty much two seconds because I have like a HEPA filter that makes white noise and I have my llama mask and my weighted blanket. And now whenever I go sleep somewhere else, I like wake up every five minutes. So hopefully I'll be fine and I'll be really tired. But that's one thing that I'm a bit worried about, but Send me the good vibes, good sleep vibes, because I'm gonna need them. Also bringing a few hats for this trip. I'm bringing this Walt Disney World bucket hat, which I love. Sometimes I don't love wearing it because I feel like I look like a child, but also sometimes it's the vibe. I can't wear it right now because I have a bun on, but I find it really cute. It's like the spirit jersey one, so it has like the little spirit jersey tag. So I have to bring it because it's for the parks. Bringing two caps. They're both from Magical Castle Company. This one says there's a great big beautiful tomorrow with the sun on it. So bringing that one, it's like a jean color. Then this one, Magical Castle each made a hat for Brandon and I that says it's always sunny. So bringing that one, of course. And I'm bringing a few ears. So I picked three ears to bring. I have a few more, but these ones are usually the ones that I wear on my trip, these two in particular. So I decided just to bring three this time and I actually already have two pairs of ears at Disney World because Brandon got them for me. I'm really excited for those. So you'll have to stay tuned to see what those ones are. They're the ones I'm bringing. So this classic pair that's like bejeweled, it's not bejeweled, but, uh, sparkly sequins. I don't know. They look like this. They have the red bow with polka dots. I feel like that, they just like go with everything. So. I'm bringing those. This pair of ears, which I love. These are like the comfiest ears. I know Disney Park ears aren't always the comfiest, but I love these. They're light, they fit on my head really well. They're the 50th ears from Walt Disney World. And then as I said, I really, really wanna wear a wand outfit because I have these ears. So 
I'm gonna wear that for sure one day. This will keep going on with the different clothes that I'm bringing. I'll talk about the shoes that I'm bringing. These are tentative because I'm not 100% sure if this is all I'm bringing or if I'm gonna remove some of these, I don't know. So these are the shoes that I wore literally pretty much every day on our trip last year. And they are the sandal kind of Birkenstock style Crocs. And they have like mini on them there. So these are like classic. I feel like they're great for the parks. I got them at the parks. The only downside is they give me like blisters all over the top of my feet, but they're so comfortable. They don't make my feet hurt at all. And they don't, my feet obviously don't get hot from wearing them. So I think I'm just gonna buy some tape or a bunch of band-aids and just tape my feet to wear them again. We'll see. I'm also gonna bring this pair potentially because I got the same exact pair. Um, they have a few Croc uh, Disney gibbets on there. So again, if these ones are comfortable, these ones should be comfortable. We'll see. And I'm bringing these sandals. They are like Birkenstocks, but they're Papilio. Papilio? Yeah. I've been wearing them like all summer. I've had these shoes for a long time, but this summer they are like my go-to. So I feel like my feet are pretty used to them and I really like them. So I'm gonna bring those as well. Like I said before, I don't think I'm gonna bring, usually I bring like white sneakers, but it usually rains like every day at Disney. And I don't like when sneakers get wet. It just gives me like the ick. So I don't think I'm gonna bring them and I don't want my feet to get hot. So I think I'm just gonna stick to sandals. So all the clothes that I'm bringing, I think I'm like looking around. Oh no, there's one more clothing item that I'm bringing. And I don't know if I'm gonna bring this because it seems like it's not very Disney, but my mom got this dress for me and I really like it. So if Brandon wants to take me on a hot date, then I can wear it. It's like one of those like kind of silky looking dresses. Oh, it's flying away. One of those silky looking dresses, it's like really nice. So I might bring it because I don't have like any other dress that I want to bring and we are going on like on, a bit, on an anniversary dinner, but I don't know how fancy it's going to be. So it might be a little much to wear to Disney. I also have to go to Winners today still to look for sunglasses. So I might buy another dress that's like less fancy, but we'll see. We can talk about the bags that I'm bringing. I always have a hard time deciding what bags I want to bring because I'm I appreciate lounge fly like when I see other people wear lounge fly I'm like I love that so much they look so cute but I find that like I don't have lounge fly that necessarily match the outfits that I wear so it's just kind of like not it for me but I have these two lounge flies that aren't like typical lounge flies that I love I forget what they're called but I'll just show you so these are the ones I'm bringing oh I really wish I knew what they were called they're like crew I don't know, you'll have to look it up, but there's a Winnie the Pooh one that's like brown. I want it so bad, but it's like old and now it goes for like $200 and I don't want to spend that much money. So this is the one that I'm bringing. It's got mini all over it, it's red. We have the same one, but in like the 50th uh, design. So those are the two lounge flies that I'm bringing. And this trip, honestly, I want to try to bring like the least amount of possible stuff to the parks. I know Brandon has been really good on his program of just like holding the camera and bringing the camera and kind of using his fanny pack. So I'm bringing my trusty fanny pack and hopefully most days I can just bring this because I don't love carrying around a bag. Again, it just like makes you warm and just adds to like the stuff you have to worry about. So I'm gonna hopefully try to just use my fanny pack for most of the time. Obviously I got my luggage here that I'm gonna be bringing and then as my carry on, I'm just bringing a bag like this. I don't think I'm bringing another like backpack because honestly, I don't feel like I have that much stuff. I know Brandon has to bring stuff back, but I don't really have like a backpack that's like will fit a lot. So I think I'm just gonna use my like lounge fly as bringing something back. Um, and then we'll kind of just figure out Brandon's situation. <laughs> and now let's go into like the other little fun extra stuff that I'm bringing. It's really funny cause it looks like I'm bringing a million stuffies cause I kind of am, but I'm gonna show you that I have to bring Buffy. Buffy is the stuffy that I've had ever since I was little. He went to school with me, he went to the park with me, he went literally everywhere that I went, he went. So I still bring him on trips because it's just like, I don't know, a special thing. So he is my stuffy that I bring on trips. So he's definitely coming. I'm also bringing some other stuffies that hopefully I can like attach to my fanny pack and wear to the parks. So I'll show you who I'm bringing. Emos are like the big thing to wear at the parks these days. I find it funny because when they first came out, people I don't think were like super into them. But then ever since someone figured out that you could like uh, wear a little elastic and tie it to like your bag or your fanny pack or whatever, people have been loving them. 
and we actually have quite a few now. I don't really know how we ended up getting this many, but I kind of forgot we had them. So I'm bringing all of them because it might be fun to like have a different one each day. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you the ones that I have. And then Brandon also has Donald and Goofy already at Disney. So yeah, we have Piglet who is already wearing an outfit. I don't know if I'm gonna dress them all up before I go, but there's Piglet. I have Winnie the Pooh. I have Tigger. So we almost have all of the Winnie the Pooh ones. I think we're only missing Eeyore, which is kind of sad because now I'm like, we should just got all of them, but that's okay. Then we also have Kermit. Oh my gosh, look at his little outfit. Like, I love dressing them up. It's so cute. And then we also have Daisy, which Daisy was the first new emo that I ever got. So I think I'm gonna bring her like on the plane as well. Tired to my fanny pack maybe uh, for the flight. Of course, we have to bring some outfits for the new emos to wear. We ha do have some like wintry outfits for them. We're not gonna bring those because it's summer. So I'll just show you the ones that we brought. So you saw the ones that were on Daisy and Piglet already. And we also have these ones. So we have a little Walt Disney World 50th spirit jersey. We have a Disneyland Pride spirit jersey, which I literally love so much. We have these ears, which are actually an ornament, but I cut the string off of it. And look how cute this is. Where's uh, Daisy? Here she is. You can literally put it on their head and it looks perfect. Look how cute. So I finally cut the string for a while. We were like, well, I was debating because I'm indecisive sometimes about stuff like that. I was debating if I should cut the string or not or like leave as an ornament, but I think it looks so cute. So we're gonna have those. I have this little outfit that has overalls and a little blue shirt. It came with like a uh, summer hat, but it kind of falls off them. So I don't think I'm gonna bring the hat actually to the parks. I have this outfit from the 50th, oops. It's got little like blue shorts and this t-shirt. And again, it comes with a hat, but the hats fall off. So I'm not gonna bring the hat. Then we have some jeans in case any of them wanna wear pants. We have a little, what is this called? Handkerchief. What are these called? I have this little thing that I forget what it's called. I want to call it a handkerchief, but I don't know what the correct term is um, to kind of tie around their necks or their heads. So those are all the Noemo related stuff. I'm also bringing some wishables because Brandon has been wearing his wishables in his fanny pack and they look super cute. So I might do the same thing or I might even try to do the elastic thing with the wishables because I'm sure you could do it with them as well. I know people do it over like their hands, but you could just do it over their body. So I'm going to try it out. But I have um, Shaman from Avatar. And I also have an Elsa that I'm going to bring. Two more little things that I'm bringing. I am bringing my Pascal that's like a slap on. I know it's like a thing now that they have those like mini slap ons. This one I got from the parks and he's always really cute to bring. One time I brought him around like the whole trip and all the characters love meeting him. So I'm going to bring him. Also, I'm bringing my little Alumel keychain. So in case I want to put it on my fanny pack or on my bag. I'm gonna bring him as well. The thing that I'm gonna show is all of the magic bands that I'm bringing. Ben and I love magic bands, honestly. We think it's so fun um, to kind of match them to your outfit or to the parks that you're going to. So these are the ones that I picked that I'm bringing. They're all like the old version of the magic band. I don't have one of the new ones and I might get one on this trip, but I also know that you can order them um, to your hotel like before or your resort before you go, but I didn't do that. So I have to ask Brandon if it's too late to do that because I would have liked to do that because I know online you can get more than just like at the parks. But if not, maybe I'll get one at the parks or I just won't get one. Honestly, it's not a big deal to me, but these are the ones I'm bringing. So there's this one, which is a Hollywood Studios one. I got this one from Caitlin and Austin. I love it so much. Also love how it's gray because it can match with a lot of stuff. I also have this one, which I, I love this one. This one I got when Frozen 2 got released. We were at the parks and we actually watched it um at disney springs and it's like a limited edition one i think yeah limited edition 2500 then we have this one of pandora it's got um just pandora on it there's like a banshee and stuff flying around so i really like that one let's have this one of small world i really like the color of this one because pink's my favorite color so that's why i'm bringing that one and we have this uh tower of terror one which i also love because we got engaged and this is the one that i got that brandon got me when we stayed at animal kingdom lodge as a surprise after we got engaged and it says engaged on the back so have to bring this one of course also bringing some beaded bracelets i might try to make more before i go they're what uh, i'm bringing as of now we have this one envision one that i got from wild arrow threads so I'm gonna wear these with my Wanda outfit. These ones are also from Wild Arrow Threads. Uh, they say magic and then have like 
um, a bunch of Mickey heads on it. So I always wear these ones almost like every day, usually on our trips. I made a few, but the ones that I made didn't really match any outfits I had. So I'm not bringing them, but the ones that I am bringing is this one. It just says, oh boy, with a little heart in the middle. Um, so I'm bringing that one as well as this one for the Halloween party. It says boo on it and it's just like black and orange. Um, so again, I might try to make some more before I go, depending on timing wise and if I'm feeling like making them and then I'll just add them to my bag before I go. Got one more little plush that I'm bringing. Um, this is just a little ghost that says trick or treat. I'm planning on adding this to my bag for the Halloween party. I thought that it'd be super cute to have like as an extra little Halloween touch. Also for the Halloween party, I'm bringing these scrunchies. I don't know how I'm planning on doing my hair, so I don't know if I'll wear them, but they glow in the dark. Um, I made these ones, so I'm just gonna bring them. They have like skeletons and spiders, and this one has little ghosts on it. Other super fun thing that I have for the Halloween party that I'm bringing is this thing. It's like a spinner light thing. Um, we got these at Dollarama last year, but they're so fun. They have like Mickey at the bottom, and again, they light up, and it's got like the pumpkin head. I think we paid like $5 for this last year, and they had like a few different ones. We just got this one, but we're bringing it to the parks because it'll be fun to walk around with this, and then we won't have to buy one. <laughs> regards to pin trading, I'm bringing a few things for that. I'm bringing a lanyard. It's an up one in case I decide that I want to wear a lanyard. When we first started pin trading, I always wore um, a pin lanyard, but some of the pins sometimes fall off, and that like stresses me out, so might just be like putting the pins and carrying them in a pocket situation, but I still like to have a lanyard just in case. And I also bought this little thing um, recently. I thrifted it. It's like a little Winnie the Pooh pouch. And um, I thought it'd be perfect like to carry pins in. So I brought a few pins for pin trading, only a few just for like the first day. Brandon should still have some pins to pin trade. And if not, we're just gonna buy some more when he has a cast member discount at the parks to pin trade. Now I'm just gonna move on to the things that are essential for any uh, trip that you're going on. Toiletries and things like that. So I am bringing Voltaren just in case my legs get sore or I get injured somehow. Um, Voltaren is the best, so bringing that. Also bringing some sunscreen. I love this sunscreen, it smells so good. Um, I always like apply it to my face kind of as like a under thing at the start of my day because it's important. Bring this, I love this so much. It's Sun Bum like hair lightener. Um, I used to use a different product before that was more like harsh on your hair, I would say. This one's more natural and I literally love Sun Bum so much and it works great, so bring that. Of course, some of the es essentials in here, we've got deodorant, toothpaste, a little makeup products. <laughs> Stay there, please. Oh my gosh, did I just break that? Oh my gosh, we're okay. Okay, putting that directly back in my bag. Also, sun bum lip chop. This stuff saves lives, seriously. I get the worst like sunburn on my lips, um, especially if I'm like outside all day or especially if I'm going like in and out of water. So like pool, beach uh, situation. When I wear this, First of all, tastes so good, soothing, and doesn't make me get burnt lips. Last time I didn't have this, went outside, got burnt lips, so I bought a bunch more. This one is the Key Lime, and then I also got a coconut, but they're literally all amazing. Those are my little toiletries. I also need to pack my toothbrush and nail clippers. Maybe I'm gonna bring nail polish, not everyone's not sure. So there's a few more things I need to add. I also have the electronic essentials. Do not forget your electronics. I have these, also need to pack my phone charger. Um, I have headphones, ones with like the jack in case my AirPods die because for some reason they die very quickly now. I think it's because they're old. I've got the AirPods though as well. I'm bringing my iPad and my notebook because I wanna study a little bit every day because I'm gonna be going into clerkship um, right after the break, so. I want to give you some, some things so that when I come back, I'm not feeling overwhelmed. <laughs> Other kind of random things that I'm bringing. I'm bringing uh, this mindfulness journal. I just bought it the other day at Winners. I am not really like a journal person. I've tried in the past to just sit and write, but honestly, I don't like it. I find it stressful. It doesn't like help me to write down things. I'm very much more of like a talk it out sort of person. So I don't love that, but I like this because it has little prompts in it. Um, just like 
things you appreciate, list of goals, something looking forward to, best moments. It's more so like reflecting on your day. What would make you happy right now? What's draining your energy? Little place for drawing. Um, things like that. List of beautiful things you saw today. So like more things that is kind of like a reflection on your day rather than just like sit and write things. I'm gonna start using it on the trip because I think it'll be fun also to look back on as like a memory from the trip. Then this I'm debating on bringing because I really, really wanted to bring this. It's my instant camera. But then when I went and bought film for it, I originally was gonna order like the 100 off Amazon, but I didn't feel like spending a bunch of money right off the bat. So I went and just bought like a little pack of 20 um, film. But on the back of the film, it says like, do not bring through airport. Like it can ruin the film because of like the x-ray machine that they use to look at the stuff. And it really stressed me out. And now I don't know if I should bring it. And it says like online that you can ask the airport to like in investigate or look at the stuff individually. But I'm already like not a good flyer. And I just like to keep things like as least stressful as possible. So I don't really want to be going through security being like, oh, can you look at this please? And not put it through the x-ray and then they'd be like all sketched out about it. So I don't know if I should just bring the camera and ask Brandon to buy me some things or just like leave it and like, it's not a big deal. I don't know. It's gonna be like a last minute decision. I also have some sunglasses, but I have a pair of sunglasses that I love, but they started getting worn out because I got them for like $4 at Primark and they just broke literally today. So I'm gonna go to Winners or Marshalls and try to see if I can find a pair that looks exactly the same because I just love them so much. So we'll see if I find a pair, I'm gonna bring them. If not, I'll just bring those. And of course we have the passport, which we need to bring. And I'm also bringing money because I like to use cash. We just take out cash so that we know exactly like how much we're using and we're not just swiping the days away. The only downside to that is Disney now after COVID has very much been like, mobile order, online things, which I don't love. Sometimes it takes a little bit of extra time to order. I just like to do the cash thing. So I'm gonna bring that. Just a few more things off the top of my head that I know I need to get. Again, those band-aids are tape. Uh, I need to bring my vitamins because I'm really bad at taking my vitamins and I'm trying to be better. So we need to continue it on this trip. Like I said, I'm gonna look for another dress. There's a few more toiletries that I need to pack, but that's the gist of my packing. And yeah, I'm not gonna spend time kind of putting it all away on camera because I finalized. I wanted to film the video in advance so we can get it up time of my trip. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below in the comments if you have a Disney trip coming up when you're going, love to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Ring that notification bell so you never miss a future Disney video from us. Also be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at sunny times too, because that will keep things current on the trip to come. And thanks so much for watching. And remember, it's always fun.